Discord, I'm gonna need coach to maybe Ah, oh, shit, wrong Discord. Right? So I think we just insta win. Or 10 less. I think we. I do not. For the all-girls team, like an experience you had in high school. Why? Oh, is it on? Oh, dude, wait, why in the f I thought I was muted.
And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to SMSU Valorant. Today is, uh, I believe, the first round of our uh, postseason tournament. It'll be Team Brown in the first round as one of the lower seeds taking on Cody College, who they uh, Team Gold faced off against last week in their final regular season game. So I'm going to be expecting a pretty closely contested match between these two. I'm Afro here with Frozen Explosion. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, doing good. I'm really excited for this. Yeah, I just drank a monster, so my energy is really high <laughs> right now. So I'm uh, looking forward to this game. Looks like they're going to be starting on Ascent to start off. We have on the side of Cody College in blue defending. We have Sova, Phoenix. That's a lot of flash. Not a lot of flashes, but we got you know Phoenix. We got Sky, Viper, Sage, and Sova. So definitely going to be a pretty strong defense comp to start off with the sage wall especially on ascent there's not a lot you can really do in terms of entry for that map so having that sage just cuts off everything from main or mid or whatever you want to do and on the side of attacking phoenix omen sova viper and yoru surprisingly so it's going to be an interesting comp very looks kind of highly aggressive on the side of smsu so looks like I'm they're going to have to it a really strong de attacking right attacking for the start and then that defense with that Yoru being able to go in and see where everyone's at that's gonna be really helpful when they're defending yeah I can definitely agree with you on that looks like it's going to be at least for this first part it is pistol round so they're gonna probably charge in with something but they seem to be going for what looks like a default maybe a split up here Meanwhile, Cody College 
no one really on the A site. They're definitely going to try and push through B and maybe through a little bit mid. So it's going to definitely come down to gunfighting here. Unfortunately, if Yoru is with the bomb, but you can see he already placed his TP all the way in spawn. So if things get hairy, you can definitely make a move here as the round officially starts. And as they're looking on, Cloudy College, no idea about this slow push. The arrow does go off. And you can see Cotty College already making the move to a site. They're going to want to get Yoru there quick to plant as they start to converge onto site. Ooh, the shock dart, I believe, not hitting Viper, but it will miss as they wait in the smoke. Spicy Lotus now in the gunfight. does take one. And looks like they're going to go for it. There's Spicy Lotus again with a double kill. And it's going to be an absolute sweep. First round, flawless on the side of SMSU. Great round there to start mm -hmm. this first game of the series. Very nice round. I would have kind of expected maybe Cody to have at least one pistol instead yeah. of everyone on shorties. Just so that way, if you do have a long-range fight, you at least have someone with a pistol to keep people at bay. Yeah. yeah. And... uh at that point, I think they're trying to go for the cheeky play. Maybe they're trying to punish that hard push, but Team B playing very passively on that one, playing really slowly, mm -hmm. not being super aggressive on that push, and it paid off pretty well for them as they begin that si uh, second round. This time, a majority of SMSU going up mid. And Eric the Great currently watching on for this peak here as Esaptree is taken by Papa Scruggs. Eric the Great with his back turn. Papa Scruggs will take a double kill with Spicy Lotus picking up the sky. Phoenix now alone in a tight spot. He will grab Bomb, or at least try to. Doesn't seem he got it. And he's going to get absolutely uh, demolished here by Papa Scruggs now with a 3K and on that headshot. Definitely going to be wanting to save on the side for Papa Scruggs, going for the bonus. Mm -hmm. Not looking too good for Cotty to start, but this is only round three, so there's still much to uh, be done. Mm -hmm. You know, Cotty had a really nice setup on that one, 3A, 2B, kind of expecting that same A push like last time. But I'm kind of curious to see if, like, what they're doing right now where they have a Sova staying on mid just so that way, yeah. if they're for that mid push, like we have Kingslayer doing right now. Looks like they're going to be having a scuffle in mid. Papa Scruggs will send that paranoia out. I don't believe it got the silver, but he does watch and he gets the headshot. They're going to be starting to move, but they don't have bomb. So they're going to probably have to go back to that mid to cat to grab it. Putting them in a tight spot while they have to wait for Sova to come back with bomb. Eric gets taken out. And as the fight in mid goes on, King Slayer with that snipe with the marshal. Going to be opening up some opportunities for SMSU to start moving here as this becomes a 4v2. You can see Papa Scruggs pushing up mid again. He throws out the paranoia. And he's just going to swing. And he does get the kill on the Ares holding Heart and Soup, which is uh, definitely an interesting play. Oh, but his back is turned in the smoke, though. He's going to be starting to shoot. And he does get the 3k again. My goodness, he's so lucky. Wow, <laughs> through the smoke. Yeah, he's absolutely lucky with that one. I am mm -hmm. not sure how he got out of that uh, almost unscathed, but he will get the 3K. Now 3-0. Uh, looking good for SMSU Team Brown right now as they are moving up in the rounds, the lead getting farther and farther away. Mm -hmm. We got, yeah, Kingslayer with the rifle, not rifle, with the marshal again. Hope maybe going to... Well, hopefully going to get that a cheeky kill in mid. Yeah, he's definitely going to want to go for it. He's definitely fishing for it, that's for sure. Mm. And again, the same kind of play. They leave Bomb kind of behind Cat near A. Going to probably rock the default, see who can get peaks first. If someone can get a first pick here. And it will be Papa Scruggs, who does take out East Aptry. Cover going out. And they're going to probably start moving toward that. And uh, as we see here, Cotty on the first time of trouble... 
He's gonna try and go for that rotate again the 2k goes for the rifle and still has time to get the kill as he gets the 3k here he will pick up the phantom they will plant on a site he is completely distracted a 4k can papa scrubs get this ace or is this team gonna let him do it oh my goodness the kingslayer almost taken out there the ace denied for papa scrubs as he will lead the leaderboard capping too with 9,000 credits and he got that rifle from somebody else so he's looking really good right mm -hmm. now meanwhile Cody College the Comets not looking too good as now we go into this four round deficit on their end I'm definitely seeing if there is one player from SMSU that dies probably a buy out of Papa Scruggs just so that way that econ can stay the as the same as much as possible yeah, looking at the KDA for even Papa Scrooge, he has not died once yet. And he's been looking fairly strong mm -hmm. in this matchup. The Viper wall, very interesting put, uh, placement for that wall. Mm -hmm. As Look. it kind of goes not on the wall, but uh, like above it. So Spicy Lotus will take, will be taken out by ESAP Tree. Papa Scruggs with the immediate look. I, I'm absolutely shocked here. He gets two kills with that Phantom. He's definitely going to be looking to buy for next round. I mean, he's capping at this point. Might as well. Eric the Great will take the kill. And it now becomes a 2v2. A very closely contested round this time. Waffle going for the plant. Let's see what they do here on the side. Oh, yeah. Here's the ult here by Neob. He's going to come in from heaven. He does take out the Yoru. He has to just take out that Sova who is definitely hurt, could be their round if he plays it smart. There they are. Now you've caught up in that situation. You can tell that Sova's just ready for that ult, and he's going to hit the bomb site. But is he going to connect here? He will connect. Now at almost the same HP, this is going to come down to who can get the first shot, and it will be Waffle clutching it here. In round five, he's gonna take it. Great game gunplay there on the side of Sova being able to ult on site. He does get him with that last shot, tagging him, giving him an opportunity to come up with a kill for his Yo. team. What is a possible strategy Cody College can do here? I mean, what have you seen for like mistakes that they've made? Because they seem to be making quite a mm -hmm. bit on it seems their side. At the start here, they've been more so trying to feel out SMSU. Here in this this last round, they did a really nice job at trading out kill for kill mm -hmm. with those trade-offs, which is really nice to see. But, I mean, just maybe better gun angles at, but past that, I, it's hard, hard to say. Cause yeah. It is a lot of just being outgunned at this point. And you can see your Spicy Lotus with a 2K now. As Cody College has no one on site, they're going to plant and almost have complete lockdown on site. And at this point, it's so hard for Cody with not be with going up against rifles when they have specters and Ares. One enemy remains. And yeah, as you just say that, they get mowed down by the Kingslayer and Waffle. Won't be able to get any kills on the side of SMSU. So they will take this one 6-0 with a flawless round. Yet again, their second flawless of this mm -hmm. game. And again, the economy looks so good for SMSU. They can buy rifles on rifles on rifles and still be mm -hmm. all right. Meanwhile, the Cotty College Comets looking pretty staggered. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to say this. I know my boy SMSU, I love to see him win, but maybe just a few rounds out of <laughs> Cotty, you know? Yeah, just to, just to give you know a little bit of a fight here. Yo. Is they are trying their best to do what they have to do with what they are given but right now they just have been making a couple of mistakes down the line and it just has not been working out for them Papa Scruggs the only one on A so this is going to be a chance for SMSU to have full control of A site right now Eric Degree will get that wall bang using the rifle and he and Omen's going to start going for the flank trying to catch them off that rotate if he stays up in heaven he will catch him by surprise. Yeah, he got one lacking. Could he get a second one? No, Heart and Soup will take this one from Papa Scruggs. 
as they begin to converge on the site here. And there is one, but the sky still living. He's going to probably try and get out of there. He's going to pick up the Phantom. Not sure if they're thinking about saving or heading out and just trying to go for picks, but might be just going for picks here. We'll take out Eric the Great. Now with a bomb situation, but Waffle catches Heart Soup looking the wrong way. And it now is a 7-0 game. I think if I were at Cotty College at this point, you, it's a 3v1. Maybe get that one kill on Eric the Great like they did. And then maybe just run back to B and just let the bomb go off. Just so you at least have one rifle. Yeah. And give it to your best player just so that way you have, you have something. At least a better weapon to contend with SMSU. Yeah, and I'm on that same boat. I think saving the rifle would have probably been the best play for Cotty, just so they can have a rifle. Now they're down a rifle. They're using some judges here against rifles. He will use Viper Pit in in main, making them believe that he's probably still chilling. But if he can catch him off guard, he will with that judge. Eric the Great caught lacking here, but he will be the only one in main as Nayub will take out Papa Scruggs, but the trade from Spicy Lotus takes care of that. It's now a 3v3 situation. And as soon as I say that, <laughs> it becomes a 3v2 situation. Ace Bay with the Ares play. Going to be erasing that. Who's next? And Yoru now going for the old runs right by Ace Bay, who appears right behind him and domes him with the wow. shorty oh my goodness a little disrespectful but hey you know you gotta do what you gotta do spicy lotus mm -hmm. is now gonna plant here as Cotty was world. completely unaware that they were even on that side mm -hmm. not gonna be able to do anything about it though let's see what they can do on this retake they can cut. i mean at this point what do you think that would be the best point for Cotty College to do in this situation right now. Well, they have the Viper's Pit on for SMSU, so they kind of have the advantage right now. East Aptree will be dropping in, but the Molly's definitely dead. hurting. And again, that One play, but he could he get this here. East Aptree goes for the defuse and will not be taking out the Kingslayer. I am a little, uh, I'm a little confused on that play. I guess he wanted to go for the, I mean, he didn't have enough time at that point to go for the defuse, but you know, it happens. You know, maybe it's just that pressure. Maybe you just want to get the tap, bait them out, at least get the pick. But either way, all members of both teams are taken out in that round. So a hard reset, but mm -hmm. with the economy coming from SMSU, they're just kind of, okay, we'll take that one. We still win the round. Mm -hmm. Let's buy up guns. And you can see even Spicy Lotus now with the op. So he's going to be real dangerous down mid. Mm -hmm. But it look kind of looks like Hart and Soup kind of expecting maybe that Marshall or Op play hanging back really far, is just staying out of the way. Yeah, surprisingly, no one challenges the mid angle and decides to be a little more cautious about making moves here. Not going to try and uh, instigate anything on either side. This looks like SMSU is going to sit this one out as long as possible. Seeing who's getting any cheeky kills if they can. Omen going for the TP. Does catch one staring at him directly. Has a little bit of information about at least where one person is. Papa Scruggs does get the kill on Ace Bay. So the pick is going to be on B. But it looks like SMSU is thinking about possibly going to A. Oh, and if Spicy had Lotus had stayed in mid right now, could have had a cheeky Ooh. kill. He gets one anyway as he gets oh. the op shot on Caradot. But Sova now completely clear on his side. He can plant on A. And there it is. The kill from behind here by Eric the Great as he gets the 2K. Caught off guard completely. And it's looking dire for Nayub here as he... Uh, Begins to ponder what's next as <laughs> Papa Scruggs just puts the bullet right through the dome. It's going to be 9-0 going into this, and it's still not the end of the half yet. They still have three more rounds to play mm -hmm. before the end of the half. Maybe, just maybe, 
Cotty College can maybe get one round out of this one just yeah. coming back in the game two. I think at this point I would – See how many I could get in one little area if I were Connie College. Get them in one sm small spot and just have Sova, since Sova has the alt for Connie, and just have oh, Sova just lay waste and see how many he can take out. And let's see what SMSU is trying to go for. They see the wall on B, so they know at least the stage is there. Eric the Great full running in as he will get the pick on East Aptree before his ult goes out and he gets the orb just for fun. Careful now. And Papa Spurs will take out Ace Bay, the flash here by Nayu, but he is so, so badly put in a dangerous spot. He was looking not well <laughs> as it comes down to heart and soup. And again, in the situation of a 4v1, with bomb already planted, I think maybe just getting one pick and dipping is probably the best bet. But it seems like they know that he's already there. We'll get the pick on Eric the Great. This could be the dream right here, the comeback, possibly. He does not get Waffle. It will be a headshot with a Vandal. And it will cement this one for sure at this point now. 10-0. And again, that the situation arises where Cotty College, like last week against Team Gold, is not having it right now. They are not doing too well, and it's showing. As we can see here, it's a 10-0 game. They still have to get at least a couple more rounds before the half is even over. Mm -hmm. And at best, maybe you can get a round, but the win is already secured at most. It's just a situation where you have to come back game two and hopefully make something happen. Nayub, though, will get a kill off of SMSU, but Papa Scruggs with that double is going to even the odds. Oh, no, Ace Bay missing. And the Seekers out from Heart and Soup. Found one. Spike planted. And yeah, again, Heart and Soup, the last remaining. The, oh my goodness, the TP almost working there, but was able to catch him before he can make anything happen. They know where he is. They're going to have to try something here. We'll take out the Viper. Possibly going to be taking out Waffle. Heart and Soup will go down as we reach the final round last in round the half. Up 11 to 0. Possibly a 12 0 round half for SMSU if they can secure this one and again the comments not I'm seeing I'm seeing a bit of a problem here as we saw last week that over committance to rotating I think that's mm -hmm. been their biggest detriment and as you say that all of all the comments on a right now Although right now it looks like the Comets are just going to W key this and see if they can get any cheeky kills. Yeah, the only disadvantage to that is if, and at this point this is an interesting situation because they are on the site with the bomb. So they take out Spike, it's going to stop SMSU in their tracks, but they will take out Papa Scruggs. As he's letting the ult fly, he'll take out Caradot. he'll take out Ace Bay, that's a 2k from the ult, and it's a 3v3 situation. They will take the, the bomb. Bomb now on A main, and it's completely locked down mm -hmm. by Cotty College. Kingslayer thinking about going for that flank above heaven. Meanwhile, the Phoenix watching in spawn in case they try to push around that way. comes down to this situation of uh, coordinating left. this push because this could definitely be a very strong move here by SMSU. They will throw the flash out. He sees one in wine, but it's taken out. It's down to Eric the Great, and he will also be taken out. So, Cody College will get the first round in an 11 round deficit, uh, a losing streak, as to say. Mm -hmm and we'll keep this game alive for a little bit longer let's see if they can maybe turn it around for this next half 
I mean, maybe this is their map where they're like, hey, we're not good at defending. We'll do the best we can, but uh, when we're attacking, that's that's when we rock. Yeah, and that's uh, and you can definitely see it in the team comp that this is a uh, very aggressive attack squadron. You got the sky with the dogs, the birds. You got Phoenix with the wall, the fireball, the flash. You know, you got ways to get on the site. Mm -hmm. You just got to utilize them and hope you can win your gunfights. Phoenix already up in A main, ready for an assault if needed. He sees the flash coming in. He'll get one. He's caught in the reload. He'll get a second one before he goes down. And it's now a 4v2. As SMSU just completely locking down, taking out what needed to be done. And the shock dart will kill Esap Tree with Spicy Lotus picking up heart and soup. It'll be a 12 1 match point here coming up for SMSU. Wow. An insane play by SMSU. Yeah, absolutely Match crazy point. play. I uh, mm -hmm. was expecting, uh, he, you know, he got a lot from that. Uh, the information given by Eric the Great was what kind of did it for SMSU. Those kills, too, as well, giving them enough time to ro make that rotation happen has definitely helped them out. And as we reach this match point, you know, as, as we see SMSU Brown kind of coming out on top in game one, it comes down to what, what can Cotty do you know, what kind of map can they use that can maybe turn the tides of battle? Ooh. And the sh and the dart's going to see one of them. Oh, and he will get the kill before being traded. Now a 2v3 on the side of Cotty College. And the the Bucky play kind of works wow. here. One enemy Spicy Lotus in a tight spot. He has the Bucky. Here. And Spicy Lotus barely making out of that one. He's going to jump in with the Bucky and he's going to try and go for something. But it's unable to work as it's going to be now a 2-12 game. Yeah. Cotty College now up with another round of win for them on this side, keeping the dream alive. You know, if I were SMSU at that point with the Bucky, I would have just stayed in that corner. Because I, I, he made it look like he jumped all the way down. So by staying up on those boxes, you might have been able to pick off one, switch yeah. quick to the pistol, right-click yeah. on pistol, and take out the other. Yeah, I think the play there would have been to wait just a little bit longer for mm -hmm. them to push. I think waiting for, like, pushing yourself with a Bucky, they still have those uh, SMGs, so it makes it kind of hard to do that judge play unless you are uh, <laughs> a god of gaming, you know? It's kind of hard mm -hmm. to do that kind of stuff. And Papa Scruggs pushing up Cat with such confidence. He's going to have to reload for sure here. He's looking bad, and he, he's going to do it. Wow, <laughs> I uh, I'm a little speechless about how that just happened. They didn't uh, even see the omen going for that smoke, and they caught. They could have got him there. Apparently, if you stand still enough, you are unseen. He has his crosshair on Papa. Oh, and that's gonna do it. What an absolute demolition mm -hmm. of Cotty College. A very interesting play to uh, end that game one, if I do say so myself. I mean, going up mid with uh you know not even rifles just pushing up wq and up mid and it seemed to have worked they didn't even get out of spawn before that could uh really start up and it's going to be a big game, game one guys. for game b not looking good for Cody, but perhaps they can bring it around but we will be right back for game number two so please stick around we'll be back shortly
we are back, ladies and gentlemen, for game two of this SMSU postseason tournament run for Valorant Team Brown. If you just tuned in, a little update for you guys. This is game two. Game one, SMSU took it 13-2 on ascent. So now we are on Icebox with SMSU on the side of attackers defending against Cody College here. And uh, the, the team lineup is mostly the same, especially for uh, the side of Cody. You know, Viper, Sky, Phoenix, Sage, Jet. But now they have a Jet. So, I did have a Jet before. So long ago. <laughs> uh, and now on the side of SMSU, they switched out for the Astra being played by Spicy Lotus. So, it's going to be an interesting map to see her on. Definitely going to be a strong addition to this uh, comp. So I'm expecting a, a fight coming in here, hopefully by Cody College, to make something happen. And I absolutely love defending on this map. This is a really fun map to defend on. You have so many good spots for to sit with a Marshall or yep. an Op. Yep. And uh, you can even see the Sage already going for the meta play, or possibly. Uh, one of the things that Sage is really strong at on this map particularly is uh, that, that wall in Tunnel. That definitely cuts him off. Of mm -hmm. going up in the kitchen, but as I've seen in a lot of games, not a lot of people have decided to go up tunnel anyway. So it kind of cuts out that option. Maybe that wall could be used in better places. And look at the maneuvering here by Eric the Great. As he's able to get on top of Boiler and will get the kill. And the bullets are flying here. It's a 4v2. Cody completely mixed up. Not sure what to do in this situation. They will get the kill though. Carry Dot with 2k. Now with a 3k. As Papa Scruggs comes in to pick it up. And I believe they also get the plant. So a big econ play for SMSU. Able to secure that one for the first round. And that was a really nice play by Papa Scrud, swinging, swinging around to the back and getting that 2K right at the end to seal the deal for round one for SMSU. Yeah, and I think they might want to try their luck again here. You can see on the pings on the map that it's going to be another situation where they're going to be stacking on a site, watching for any kind of action. Standing ahead. Arrow looks a little overshot, but mm -hmm. hey, <laughs> it happens. Ooh, and you can hear the footsteps coming around. Oh, Papa Scruggs had no idea Heart and Soup was there. Didn't check his corners, and now SMSU, though, still up a person now in a 3v2. Spicy Lotus will take out. Angelic Gamer with the Kingslayer taken out. Caradot again, another roundup for SMSU to start off. And uh, going into this, they have had confidence on both sites. So they can kind of go either way. It seems to be successful on most times. I'm curious to see how SMSU is going to play this. If they're going to have someone go up mid. Well... As I say that, two people <laughs> go to mid. Of course, of course. And, yeah, Sova obviously very strong with that mid control, with that arrow. He does have spike, though, so if he dies and both and, and most members of the team are away from that, it's not going to work out for him. Great scouting out kitchen. He will get that headshot on Nayub though. Absolutely taking his head off. And they're gonna go in through mid. Going for that B push. And again, there it is on the side of Cody College. Going for the uh the the that overcommittance again, mm -hmm. rotating toward the opposite side as they place bomb on B. Gamer does catch one off guard, might get the second, but is unable to get the shot as Papa Scruggs comes from behind and pops him. And that's going to be another round win for SMSU. Very 
questionable there uh, by Angelic Gamer. Could have possibly had the 2K, mm -hmm. but was just not able to hit those shots. That it recoil pattern, I swear, <laughs> is just so random. It can definitely cause a lot of strife. So, you know, it happens. It happens. Mm -hmm. Maybe that aim placement just a little higher. Yeah, I just mean, so it's all about tapping. Tapping mm -hmm. that mouse, you know? Yup. That mouse tap is ev can make or break, as we saw with Angelic. And... <laughs> um, okay, you know, hey, hey. With Yoru, you can kind of experiment, right? Like, that's an interesting flash. It probably would have worked, but it did also flash him. So that kind of caused a bit of problems. Waffle will get that 2K now. And he does not check his corners. He does see the shot, and he's going to reload with 13 bullets. <laughs> Hey. You are a madman. Could have got that kill, but that reload cheese. Maybe he plays too much COD Vanguard. I, I know that game just came out, you know, so that could have been a, a big, a big uh, thing for it. Two v two now, as they plant on a site. Guy going for a flash, seeing if anybody's back in that corner, but not getting anyone. Yeah, it looks like he. Oh, he gets and caught lacking, and he still got time for it. Wow. Whoa, I, uh, okay. I would be absolutely floored. And then the Kingslayer with that coming up with the crossfire. Surprisingly, Spicy Lotus comes away with a kill as he was caught I, in astral form. I, I don't. I don't know how that worked. I. I, I don't get that. I th thought for sure Connie was going to have a free kill there. Yeah, that would have been all for them. But for some reason, it just didn't work out. And now again, up four rounds as we enter round five. Same situation as we saw on Ascent where, you know, a lot of this has been dominated by SMSU. And uh, hopefully we don't see the same repeating here for on the side of Cottony College. But it sure looks like that. You are divided. Spicy Lotus going for that wall, completely dividing up the map a little bit too deep into sight for my taste, if I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. But it helps enough for them to push up a Papa Scruggs. Won't be able to take Nayub. And they're going to probably go for that rotate Yoru, though. Gonna be staying and watching for a possible rotate or maybe a push. And I believe now, yeah, they're just gonna go for it. Recon bolt is destroyed. They have a good inkling that a lot of them are in mid. Oh, and he catches Sky with that one. Sometimes the ADS is your best friend. Oh, is he gonna? No, uh, it's gonna be unable to do it. Waffle does come back to plant. He will get the second headshot here. As Viper is beginning. Oh my goodness! Wow! I, did, I couldn't even see that. I think he just took a pre fire and just went for it. Now the Molly by Nayub to take out the Kingslayer. An insane shot there by Waffle. Mm -hmm. Spicy Lotus takes out the sky and Eric the Great with an op <laughs> takes Wait. out now. You, did he have an op? Did he just pick, did he just have that the whole time? I did he? he I uh, what? <laughs> I guess we just weren't paying attention <laughs> enough to notice. He did wow. buy that. I mean, at this point, it is a it was a 4-0. Mm -hmm. It definitely did not have a situation where money was a problem. So mm -hmm. if he bought the op, you know, that's just a play. He does get the kill. He does keep the op. And uh, the surge of confidence is only growing for SMSU here. Mm -hmm. And with a performance like this, uh, second round is looking real nice. Mm -hmm. You know, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be tough, but at least they're coming in with a little bit of confidence in going into this. As they and take on one of the toughest opponents too. By Viper. I 
think I don't think the, the drone saw that Viper. Probably would have got away scot free if they didn't go for that shot. They will go for the plant on site. Little to no opposition coming from that, but it will be a lot going on as a, a bunch of losers died in one moment. Kingslayer though up with a 3k. Possibly looking for that four. Oh, he gets caught. As Nayub probably gonna take a gun and dip. Probably for the best, but you know, ooh, he reloads. And he's gonna go for the shot. Can he get it from so far away? Oh my goodness, barely getting out of there with his life. They will go for the save. And he's even doing a little, a little jig before he, uh, <laughs> before the round ends. Do a little dance as he will keep the uh, uh, pretty nice skinned phantom, if I do say so myself, and go into the next round. Got that little happy dance going, saying, hey, I'm living. <laughs> I made it out. <laughs> I made it out. I'm alive. I'm saving. Maybe that's for the best. It was a smart play. Mm -hmm. I mean, with the way SMSU's been playing right now, I wouldn't even try to go for picks. I'd just save yeah. weapons. You know, like, Yo. if you're in a spot where it's 2v1, 3v1, they got bomb. Defusing the bomb is not the main gameplay here. You're, yeah. You're looking pretty bad economically. Save up, get rifles, and just wait, you know? Mm. See if maybe you can get an op yourself yeah. if you were Connie. Just so that way you have a little bit of something. But, I mean. And you j and we did just see SMSU get the pick on mid. Uh, a seemingly open. The sky taking an intriguing angle. Uh, can't really see a lot other than from Ness. And he does kind of get it. I feel like if he had his crosshair focused on that. That would have uh, definitely done a lot more. Mm -hmm. Doesn't get the kill on Waffle, putting this at a 5v2. Not looking good for Cottony College. As he just gets absolutely decked with the op. Is he gonna get a second? No, but the op will be preserved. It is now 7-0 here for SMSU. Such a dominating game. Mm -hmm. And look at the econ, as we said. It's so staggered on Cottony. I, I, is it wise to buy two rifles and then specters and a pistol? Like, I, perhaps not for the best. No, but looking at it for SMSU, Papa Scruggs really low, or was really low on econ. It looks like one of his teammates did buy him. Which is interesting. <laughs> With the amount of econ, yeah, I suppose you could, yeah, just be like, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll sauce you some cash. You know, just pay, make sure you pay back with interest. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And the double seeker takeout. Any, any, what? Up the bird? You're cracked. Wow. You are cracked. And he's going to watch mid with an iron fist with the eyes of a hawk. And gonna keep the grip on it. Took out the dog, too. Ooh, now you with the flank up from B main is going to take out the Sova who had bomb. Now they have to go back and grab it. Oh, and the op shot by no oh Eric the Great had no idea, and so did oh wow the double op shot. That's going to be real good to boost up the confidence for Eric as he uh, begins to watch on. Oh my, is he gonna get a second one? Yes, he will. He gets the double headshot, 2K, and the Kingslayer will pick it up for SMSU and a little bit extra econ to boot as look at them. most of them were capping there <laughs> wow. uh so yeah this this game looks to be in the bag and again that situation where you want Connie to college to to get that round you know give them a little bit of an edge a mm -hmm. little bit of fight but smsu has just been beating them down at every chance they can make so it's not looking too good for Connie, but a valiant effort nonetheless mm. oh, i want to recap some quick from last round that oh, double yeah. seeker kill yeah the, no <laughs> the flash kill plus the dog right after that yeah that was uh the amount of reaction time you have to make for that and the yoru is going to ult he does get seen ah 
I don't know if that was the play there to do that, especially since they saw you. They were going to know you were running behind them. Possibly could have been uh, the play if you could have juked them out a little bit. But this ain't Madden, so <laughs> it's going to be a little hard to do that. Spicy Lotus takes him out in backside. They will plant on B, and he has his back turned. The only person watching and could have gotten the kill on that Sova. Probably also would have been able to also go for that defuse too. Mm -hmm. But uh, is unable to pick it up. Doesn't go toward the bomb. Decides to go toward A instead. And perhaps wanted to get those picks over, you know, the, the objective, mm -hmm. which can be for the better sometimes. I mean, might as well go for picks, make sure they don't keep their guns. Yeah. You can get rid of a rifle, that's a lot better for, for them. But at the same time, I feel like that jet if could have wall banged right yeah. through taking out that Sova, stopped the mm. I mean the yeah. bomb set off. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense to do that. I mean, mm. I know they patched a couple boxes to not be penable anymore. Oh, nice box, so if he just kept watch on that Sova, it would have been open season. Now you does get the kill on Waffle though with that martial play. And SMSU kind of looking uh, not too hot right now. They don't really have a set. They have A, but the bomb is all the way near B. I don't think Papa Scruggs was ready for that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, he definitely just was not prepared for that push-up. Mm -hmm. They will, however, get all the way into A site. And you can see how deep Cotton College is in B site. I feel mm -hmm. like if you didn't see them near yellow, and you didn't see them near main, and you didn't see them anywhere near, like, the nest or kitchen, mm -hmm. at that point, you got to think, they're not there. I mean, at this point, you have a 5v3, so at that point, you could have sent over two, yep. scouted out, see where people oh, were. And, and Eric the Great was watching the whole time as he gets a 2k on the op, and that's why he has the op. <laughs> I mean, if you want anyone on the op, you might as well get Eric the Great on it, and he's going to uh, clean up that possible flank. Angelic Gamer in a bad spot. Mm -hmm. And with bomb ticking down, it's not even a chance to go for bomb. It's going to be a big standing. round. The only person to come out of it, though, will be spy, uh, will be the Phoenix. So, and he, got to, and he keeps his off. So, mm -hmm. he's been absolutely dangerous with it, too. Mm-hmm. If I were Connie College, knowing that how dangerous they are with an attack op, oh, I would be quaking right now. Yeah, I'd be absolutely shook if <laughs> there That's is not much you can do with mm -hmm. someone like Eric the Great on op. He's been hitting right. shots like crazy today. Especially that sky with four and four out of four. I think that round taken out. Yeah. East Aptree with the Aries play, he will not be able to do anything with that one. That's not you, but has op and gets the kill on the Kingslayer, putting SMSU at a disadvantage for what feels like the first time in a couple of rounds. Yeah, and Nayub only came out of that with one health, if I saw correctly. But yeah, he was hit pretty good. Yeah. Oh. Hard and soup, unable to, uh, uh, able to get Papa Scruggs. I mixed up my names for a second there. These two begin to uh, make a move here. Heart and Soup will get the flank Spike on down, Waffle. And now Spike is in their possession. Now they just have to converge onto site, onto Spike, and uh, make something happen before Eric the Great. He does have op, so, I mean, numbers game. Just charge them as you can as a team. And they will do just that we with that them. flawless. The first round in a while for Last Cottony as they will the secure it before the half. Two ops out right now for Con Cottony. You got Phoenix that bot, yeah. and then huh. the one from last round. They picked it up, and uh, <laughs> looks like SMSU is going to answer back with a very similar, very not oh, similar play. Yeah. Uh, I, I think this is the first time in all of my time casting or and playing that uh, I've seen a five op. <laughs> 
play on a, on a collegiate competitive level. Yeah, I I don't really agree with that, but I mean, if they come out with the win, they come out with the win. Oh, wow. He, he was just too early. If he just let that smoke settle just a little bit longer, it would have been a bit uh, unseen, but they catch him. Now, how are they going to plan out waiting <laughs> with an op? Waffle will get the kill on Angelic Gamer. Nayub gets the trade with his op. And, uh, yeah, it's an op off. <laughs> Eric the Great will take out Hardened Soup. It's now 3v3. I thought th I thought they were running in off a screen with a knife. I was, mm -hmm. I was going to Drop say that is an interesting play. Oh, Spicy Lotus with the flank. Can he get a second? He will. Wow. Okay. And Viper looking down bad as Spicy will get the third op shot with a 3K. And again, uh, how that's quite the way to end the half with a. Uh, Five stack op. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I'm honestly surprised SMS you got that round with a five stack op. Yeah, I feel like there could have been opportunities for Cotney to maybe punish him. I mean, mm -hmm. the op has it is strong, yes, but you can only shoot one shot at a time, and if you just charge the op with like two or three people at a time, mm -hmm. you can take them out. You just got to be smart and you got to be fast, and uh, that was not the play. That just did not seem to happen and now we're looking at end of the half it's 11-1 might be curtains for Cottony if anything it's an 11-1 it's going to be very hard to climb up mm. if they can do that nice flash by Sky for Cottony Pushing them back a little bit, making it so they have more control on A site. And my boy just jumps off <laughs> and will not get the kill, but they will get that trade as it becomes a 3v4. Waffle unable to hit that shot before the wall goes up. And it comes down to Waffle. Bomb is down. And he oh. didn't even see it coming. Heart and suit with a 3K. Putting the fear into Waffle's heart. Didn't mm -hmm. even know. We'll take that first round of the half. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, now they're up. They're still up by a ways. I won't say that the possibility to win or at least come back is not there. There is a very, very slim chance. But... A slim chance nonetheless. And they begin to settle up another W key up into a site. Information definitely being told to the rest of the team, and you can already see they are on the move. The Kingslayer, though, with the Marshal now. Making some moves. They will notice one of them going for the flank and take him out. Spicy Lotus also being taken out here. And oh my goodness. A lot of things going on here in these past couple of seconds. They have no idea that Papa Scruggs is up there. He will get the 2K, possibly 3K. If he can get this jet, he will not. And now the jet's all alone. All alone and has to run back into for the spike. Yeah, at this point, you might just have to go for it. It is uh it's tough. It's gonna be a win if you don't take it. It's gonna be a win if you go take it. It is a very bad spot. But Waffle going left. away. Will hit the arrow. Will be spotted and will be immediately shot down by the Kingslayer with that martial kill. Now going into match point. It looking dire. This is going to be for sure possibly curtains. Maybe another round can be won here by Cottony. Mm -hmm. But at this rate that SMSU's going, Econ now really high for him. It's uh it's looking bad.
Yeah, I mean, at this point, you just W key up mid, get some a cheeky kill where you can, and just go for whatever site looks best. Yeah, and they're going to try and go for the default. They will be spotted by Sova Arrow. At least one of them will be. Oh, and Eric the Great catches Angelic Gamer looking uh, somewhere. The crosshair placement not really looking at a specific angle, but more just set on screen. We'll capitalize on that. Eric the Great takes out another, and Spike is in spawn. And now with that information, Papa Scruggs makes his move. He smells blood in the water, and he's going to start moving. One enemy remaining. Oh, my goodness. They're being hit by all sides. And again, wow. Pretty sure the same score, 13-2. Mm -hmm. This is a 26-4 game, and that's going to be it. So at this point, I mean, this is looking pretty good for the uh brown team team mm -hmm. b they're looking really good going into the second round but it's going to be so tough they're going to be taking on a very tough opponent in the next couple of days in the next week so any kind of final comments before we sign off here i mean i just want to remind everyone rocket league tomorrow night friday at 7 15 so hopefully yeah. another good game good game for rocket league yeah, I'm definitely excited to see how that turns out. But for us here at Valorant, that will be all she wrote. We'll see you guys tomorrow for Rocket League. This has been Afro and Frozen Explosion. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.